he can still be disarmed. The problem is it's not damage. So yes, you buy more time, but OG are already playing sustain mode, so... They're coming. They find an opening. It's going to be over on Moon with the Fiend script being committed. What have they got left? Amplification sold by Crip, but Moon is still going to go down on Willy. He walks away with 500 life. The Brewmaster Blitz gone. This is the last hurrah right now for Team Secret. What have they got? Probably not enough. Misery back in, just walking towards his death. And the Doom on Envy. Crit spins in front of him as he picks him up, throwing Envy back. The Shallow Grave will buy a little bit of time, but only a little bit. The Doom, it won't ensure the kill. Envy getting a big heal bomb. And Moon keeps trying to fight Envy back into the spin. But it's a double kill for Crit. The Ruby going to work. Puppy's on the retreat. But there are so many OG heroes behind him. All five of them. The Shallow Grave again buying time for Secret to buy back two heroes. Concoction flying forward. Keeps Moon out of the fight. But again, and they lose the dazzle. We has can take a little bit of the damage off and a blink three man crush. Envy looking for the damage more, but the concoction is going to be there. How much have they got? Misery forced half him away. We are there. Your requiem from Miracle with the Rangers combined. Secret, they've taken too much damage. OG have got it. They've got the TG out from Secret. OG, they fight all the way through the lower bracket and will be clean the chip. It's the bait. Oh, oh Mika, whoa. under the tip for Tao. Is he going so far, so fast? And now they lock in Shiki. They keep the ensnare up. And no Tao copying a hell of a lot of damage. He still needs this ad spray in the global silence. Stops kind of everything, but crit. He stops even more aggressive kind of attack. This should be the game right now. It's OG. They have pitched a 10. They have planted the flag, and they own yeah, CD. He's got the mangoes prepped, just in case. And they've got the Aegis, but OG, they're going to smoke into Fnatic. Want to try and take this fight, Seb? Getting pretty low. There's the old hit for DJ. Shoot, set down. Jump forward from Mama Eisen with the Ravi on the two of them. BZM's got the four. They're locking down Jazz for a fresher. A second Ravage. Jump again over with the Rolling Thunder. They're locking down the Ember. That's going to be Jabs out for two minutes. Amar again doing it with the Ultimus Raven. He's into the Invis here. He's trying to run away. Actually turns, but he's caught in the Ice Bath. Raven, he's almost certainly going to go down the one. Amar jumping forward to push back DJ. See if they can take him out a second time, Tiger. They He's just dropped the, the hole. Over the the root. Side. We'll put a stop to John Wall. Everyone's got the middle. Another root. But there's the second root again. John Wall doing his best to stop these black holes. But Raven still falls. John Wall also going down. As OG, they will <laughs> lose Tiger at the end of it. But he's <laughs> it's actually one of the bigger waves I've seen. Someone give that man some farm. Invictus Gaming with this smoke up, who are they going to walk into? They go up the hill and it's the Absor. He blinks away, he breaks the smoke for Boca, misses his son as well. Puppy, he clips up himself, they have to drop the Observe Ward to see Puppy. But where is your detection? He hides under the Glimmer Cave, they know he's there. Corona Spear separates up the fight, here comes your Eyes Blast. It's on Kenzo, but the Absor! The three-man Corona! Stolen with the silence damage, Kenzo is still getting the Quill Spray down. The damage output, however, the BKB is the only thing protecting him. The physical damage from Burning. Finally able to get through. Provoker will also fall. Invictus Gaming have lost too much. They got separated and done with their own fight. Somebody kill that Rubik. He needs to go down. XSS is on the run out of here. Kezu, he BT Tree's being placed. Puffy. It's a D ward for a D ward. Nisha jumps in, even gets the, da the damage over on the Conquer. Maybe not the gra greatest mass serpent wards. He wants to bounce out. The Phantom Strike will do it. Now the Ravage will kick in, but the BKB protected the Conquer, but they need to get through the Dusa. Oh, That's the bigger one. And Medusa does yeah. go down. It's a support trade off. Sniper finally being chased down as well in the back lines, but Nisha is the primary man. You get to watch him try and find all of these kills working with Zai. The negative armor, they crit through. But they need the bigger kills. A support, a, a kill on Conquer is the bigger one to claim. Faith Beyond wants to try and help out. They've got the disarm. Sven comes in with a Warcraft thanks to buyback. They get the sun over on Tanisha. He needs a little bit more distance. A jump up. He goes <laughs> for the <laughs> over the Oracle. Displayed himself for half a second. Yes. Back to the Master Serpent Wars. Fight undercover. The stun will be there. Onto the Phantom Assassin. Zion wants to help by being standing a little His bit further away. Off the He's ultra killing so hard. Now he jumps back down again. Over the Beastmaster, continue the stuns all you want, but Satanic is just great, so is the Raw, but PA, the War Stomp, wait, really? The Creep is delaying this fight, and now Nisha goes on a rampage! It's unbelievable! This Phantom Assassin! Assassins are meant to be stealthy, he's in your face, he's the real roar of this game, BKBs to dodge the Stormbolt, <laughs> a double rampage, Nisa do it solo, give me a triple rampage, you're gonna get it, a stun, it's only delaying the inevitable, it's a triple rampage for Nisha, But if you can get the Aegis, you still have some time, right? You'll, oh, oh, they have oh. no slam, yeah, I'm sorry, he got him, Roast!
Sean finishes off 23 Savage. Dead for two minutes is Big Daddy Absor swinging his cojones around in the Roshan pit. Gets a clutch kill that might have just saved it because he also has the buyback too. So he's going to be able to join the rest of the team for a four on four. Where Moon, he may just die here. The chain frost, it finishes him off. Yeah, Absor shutting up by Tai Tai. Swashbuckle over the side. They need to be able to find a kill on one of these heroes, but they're also too damn tanky. The strength ears are too big. Jazz is trying to make his way away, but he can't actually get away from the Fisher. He's now dead. Ice 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 is going to be caught for the enchant owner as well. Yeah, Absor says, You're not going anywhere, my friend. DJ, you're going to be caught as well. And that's it, GG. Yabsor ends it with the Echo Slam in the... This is still going to be the late game Terra Blade, because can VP actually battle a fully fledged Terra Blade in the late game? Glimpse, uh, Samael's in trouble. Uh, in fact, Samael, Misery, wants to help him. A quick Nightmare will buy some time. The Necrobooks at least got off, allowing the Dragon Tail stun and the oh, Phoenix no. Rift. No! Roger! He'll get the Song of the Siren off. Three caught out. Crip wants to help out with an Echo Stomp, but can it actually do enough? The laser's bouncing through the ball. I think the tower, Arteezy, Sundance onto Ramsey's. He has enough life to stand his ground. That BKB timing is huge. Ramsey's caught on the wrong side of the tracks. Samael is there to help get the kill. Remember, they'll have to do it again. The Agus Immortal will give him a second life. Crit comes in for the stomp. Pasha, he's jumped in for his own stomp. The roar is on Death Prophet. They have to hold her in position as the spill damage goes out, killing Ramsey's, lowering Pasha, but no one jumps inside the base. No, it's a, a machine. triple kill for him. He'll go for more. Rearm and pop won't happen for three heroes. Yeah, well. Fear's gonna fall, and yeah, all underneath an ace moves forward. Remember, he's got that Diffusal Blade, so he's looking to burn off the mana. Yapsaw with the pickup, as she steals Epicenter. Viper Strike. No one, he gets the BKB up, Epicenter, and the Double Burrow Strike. Perfect hit, mid one and Poppy just evaporate in sand. Yamsaw needs to help out more fight against the RP up at eight. It's really all up to him. There's not a lot of man to work with, but he needs that life. No one swapped up, just try and create space as Chen sends him back and off on this, which he does do so, but Roger. The Spike Carapace won't connect on that, but he will connect onto the Enigma with a cooldown. Rock is good here for VG Gaming, but where is the kill? Eleven is just running for his life, and DK is caught on the hillside. Lanham needs to help, but what can he do? Shards are still on cooldown, and he can't Chrono. push it back, and the three-man Chrono is perfect! Ori has managed to split the engagement, but it won't help when Ramsey's is picking apart your back line, and GA protects the front line. No one even purified up VG Gaming. They just can't get diddly squat in these fights, and Lanham the Cliff will pull it back! Another one down for VG Gaming! Gaming. The snowball is the icing on the cake. They'll pull him into Roshan, and there's your start from Roger. He hit that one. Uh, I it guess should you're gonna check. Say him on it. It is. Uh, it doesn't say. Wonderful. Okay, so probably not the spell. Nothing to get the Yules off. There's the okay spear into the other side. It's completely surrounded on the Death Prophet. A nice zoning ult from Faith Beyond. Can they take out the Titan or in time? They need a bash. No, he's just gonna TP out in the face of danger. And now Death Prophet buys back into the game. No exorcism quite yet. This is the second Roche. So this one is extremely important, and it looks like Team Spirit definitely want to contest. This could be the game. Is there's the Snapfire ult. Looks like LGD are gonna reset. Roche is extremely low. Looks like they'll be able to get it though. Yatara wants to jump in for sure, but the Aegis is gonna be claimed by nothing to say. And we'll see if Spirit still wants to fight. It looks like they do. Toronto Tokyo pops his ult, but that is a dieback. And with that, they have to get out. But the Chronosphere reserved just for the PA. See if they can save him from now, but the spirit, or the spear comes in, connects onto a tree, ravage to follow, but the BKB is already popped. They blow up the void. Extremely good kill, but is it enough? It's still five, four versus three. Yotaro, he's just gonna get right clicked down by the Lina. This damage is ridiculous with that MKB in tow. Ultra kill for nothing to say, and collapse is the last remaining member in the Mars Arena. Somehow up again, Syndra, nothing to say. Wants his rampage. It looks like beast mode has been enabled for him. He doesn't have shotgun. You're not afraid of him right now. Uh, but he's just gonna go on the other side. And because of that arcane rune, in less than 20 seconds, they're gonna have access to begin. Oh, Mado comes in! What? All right. He just comes in and deletes three of the heroes of Liquid. He's back into the gyrocopter, and just like that, Arme strikes back. Yeah, that'll happen. They're going. Jump forward. Found one. Yule Scepter lift up. The turnaround is there, but they managed to find that repel and uh, no, they'll jump. They're able to get out of there. Jason Ford for more. Ame is down low. They get the oh, Guardian just, Angel as well. This DD is doing enough damage to. Oh, he got a purge. Never mind. All right, there's the jump around, and X Nova's there as well. If Ame goes down, it could be big, but with that Reaper, he's so freaking tanky and. 
Kawhi able to catch onto one. They're still jumping forward. There's the jump in from Ame. He catches onto three. Can they kill him off? The Sonic Wave stolen. Maybe a chance to kill off his own. MSS making those plays for his team, but he's still going to die. Triple kill for maybe. And eyes off to the side here onto Snaking. One more and the Ultra. Of course, they did this in the other game too. The one that I think they were losing. You can see Ace, but he's off the mark with the, the way he starts the fight. And even so, this is an Underlord with an Aegis. Quinn, oh, he able to get the jump with the Dream Call on the waning rift. Tofu heading over, he's going to look for the Hex into the blinding light, knocks him back. See if they can finish off Nisha, no further catch. It's as simple as that. He's actually going to jump in aggressively. They want to get rid of the support. They kill on Celery. McKay's going to try and look for more. Caught by the Halberd and the Silence. He'll start to back off, but now he's ready to get back inside. He's made the jump, they get the doom down on towards the Alchemist for the Chemical Rage, the BKB are on first in the concoction as Durantra just walks in, stands next to the two supports, decimates his savior and Boxy, and ready for more. Turns over towards Isaac, caught by the Hex, pots the BKB, Boxy jumps in with the blast off to try and hold back Durantra, but Durantra, he's back up to full HP. Another concoction thrown down towards side. jump forward here from Fun. Win, Wading Rim takes Sai out, Nisha's dead, Sai's out, save to be set for Boxy as Queen something else with the BKB down. Game of Gladiators don't necessarily want to fight this. Dark Pack does go off at the right time. Caraccio activating his own BKB. Now the kiss is a niche. Oh no! Did not anticipate that kind of burst damage. Now Mickey's in trouble. Now they're going to have to use something to help Mickey. Oh, the lasso comes in. The black hole. hole. It does go it's down. They don't though. have any damage at the same time. It's canceled. Maybe Quinn dies. The last shot missed. The it's second one lands, but still. You said it, there are too many cores on Gaming Gladiators who are confident to carry this game. Duraccio and Ace. Rampage. Rampage. Anything else, yep. I mean, Duraccio, McKay's got eyes on him. So they'll turn, be, immediate BKB from Duraccio. He's not going to play as luck any chance here as he'll turn towards Mickey. Mickey pots the BKB, they get the grab onto Quinn. They're on the team, yeah. Well, it's completely surrounded Zai, but Zai is able to get the wall off, and the chain stays there, and the Duraccio will get Thunder. the Sunder off. Brings Nisha low, but Duraccio has to back away. He might not get the chance as Mickey catches him with a spin up. Duraccio dying here to the damage of the ledge, he's out. He's Duraccio's gone. gone. Immediate buyback from both supports of Liquid. Mickey still pretty high on the HP as Celery is attempting to stand Zombie apocalypse. with him. Tofu, he's got the control on towards Nisha. Nisha's onslaughting away. The ace, another Shakram, Timber Chain forward. They're cutting down the escape, and Nisha will turn with another Pulverize, but they'll bring him down. Triple kill for Ace, ultra kill for Ace as he finds Boxy. I mean, Ace isn't done, he's still full HP. He's more than ready to keep this going. They'll catch it the aisle again with another disarm. Ace focusing his here. wants the rampage, won't quite get it. Tether down to the low ground, and he keeps his distance from Ace. Ace continuing to chase. There he gets a rampage. There's the rampage for Ace. As Gaming Gladiator.